So here I am in the other side of the garden. This is the weedy area, as you can see. The grass needs cutting again. Uh, within a week or two, it's all back up again, and I need to uh, continue to to mow it. So that's another job on the list to do, and uh, cut back all this uh, hawthorn that we've got here that likes to attack you. Uh, but we've got a few blackberries growing in there, which is nice, and uh, the birds seem to love hanging about in there and flying about all over and making little nests. So. Uh, it's quite a nice little wild hedgerow but um, what I'm going to talk about today is over this area I've actually got the orchard and uh, as I like to call it anyway I've got a few apple trees and uh, some plum trees and green gauge and some cherries now what I've got a particular problem with is my cherry tree because uh, the birds continue to eat them and the snails as well like to have a bit of a, a chow down on the cherries and I never end up getting any so what I'm going to do is actually protect it this year. I've tried before but um, I'm going to really try something else this year because I'm determined to get even just one cherry would be nice uh, so I'll just go and show you what I'm going to do with it. So this is the cherry tree and as you can see we're getting a few nice clumps of cherries. Let's have a wander around here. A few nice clumps of cherries there. One of them was going red, but I think that's been eaten. And uh, as you can see, that some of them have been eaten already. If you have a look, you can just see a stone there. <laughs> just eaten round it and just left the stone. Um, now, I did put this pole in here with some rope on it, and I did put some netting over it um, a couple of years ago, but they just climbed underneath it and climbed up and just ate them anyway. So uh, I didn't have enough netting for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and uh, bag them. You now some say you can use organza bags and, and things like that, but I'm not sure whether they're actually going to come in time uh, because they've obviously got their eye on these cherries and I don't need to try and protect them because I've not had a cherry off it in the past five years. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some normal carry bags and just wrap them around them, just bag it over the top and just tie it around the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to just get a carry bag and just place it over the top and then just tie it like that. I'm just going to leave a little bit open at the top uh, and it's got some, uh, they don't have little holes in the bottom there but just, just put a little bit in the bottom just so it aerates them really and then they don't get all hot and sweaty in there. So here it is, looking absolutely stunning. <laughs> I mean, it won't win any prizes, will it? But I mean, if it works, it works. So uh, I'll keep you updated with it and hope that uh, I actually get something off it. <laughs>